Welcome to IBM I Access for Web. I believe this comes bundled with uh, 7.4 and 7.5. It certainly came bundled with my 7.5 on my little rented power system up there on the internet. Um, what does it do, Nick, I hear you say? Well, basically, it lets you sign on to your system through the browser. It lets you embed a modern-ish command line interface through a browser. I was playing with it. One of my clients was asking about if they could use that as an alternative to having client access rolled out across all of their millions of workstations. Can we put it in a website? And I said, well, yeah, you can. I haven't done it for years, so let's have a look. So as I was poking around and uh, figuring out how all this stuff works, I put together this little course. So if you go and look at the IBM Power System screen emulator review, you'll see a new uh, module called IBM I Access for Web. I do a couple of um, pages giving you an overview. This is a very cool podcast. You should listen to this. Welcome to the deep dive. To like, it's, like choosing between the All fish. I did was I took a couple of technical documents that I'd found on the web and a PDF, fed it into an AI generator, and it made this podcast. It's pretty good. Gives you a nice overview of what it is. Um, and then I wrote a series of pages talking about how to do it. So here's an overview with all the screenshots, what you've got to check on your machine to make sure you've got it installed how to run a preparation check on your machine to make sure that you've got everything set up correctly. Whenever I had errors, and I had a couple, I uh, documented those errors and then also put in what I did to fix them, just in case you have the same thing. I then speak about how to uh, configure access for web, what you have to start creating. Basically, you create uh, an integrated web server on your machine. Then you run a, a command from the command line called, uh, which I'd never heard of before, this configure access for web. And that kind of glues your web server to the 5250 IBM I access for web license program. So when you now go to that web server, this is what you see. You get this wonderful page that comes up. And down here, you'll notice it's got a 5250 session. And here I can click on active sessions. This is the cool bit about this. When I was playing with this, I've signed on twice, A and C. It's called, well, it was three times, but I deleted the second one. And look, I can reconnect to these sessions. So here is an example of my IBM I sign-on session on my personal machine. I could, I could sign on, right? Let's sign on here. And you'll notice that it's, t it's changed the command keys to show them as buttons. I can, it's removed F3 equals exit and F4 equals prompt and F9 equals retrieve. It just converts it to these text buttons. But these are all in the options. You can change that. You can go into the settings and change it. One of the nice things that I like about it is if I click on active sessions, I can see there's another sign on session that I've got. Let me connect to that one. Oh, look, it's already signed on. Yes, that's because I was logged on here a few minutes ago and doing things. When I close my browser, and come back it still has that connection so as long as you don't sign off you can shut your browser down go and do something come back log back in again and just resume from where you were it's pretty neat you'll notice that in one of my active sessions i'm running in web view and in this other active session i was running this in the old classic let me switch it to web view here's the exact same session in a modern ui feeling let me go back to traditional again Notice now it's t turned off all of those hotspot buttons that it had in the web view. And I can now press the function keys down here to do it. So I want to refresh. I'll click F5 and it refreshes. But if I switch back to web view and I want to do a refresh, I click the refresh button. Pros and cons of both layouts. I quite like this. It's free. It runs in the web. You haven't got to have any software installed on your client machine apart from a browser. And we all have browsers. Pretty neat easy way to uh, not really modernize your applications, but it's certainly an easy way to bring web access. So for companies that just want to let their users get onto the screen and take a simple menu system, you can do all kinds of um, configuration in here, including running macros when the user signs on, it will call something and do something. Um, pretty neat. Got some other functions I'm going to play with, like you can look at your print dashboard, you can look at any of your spool files on the system, the printed output, and download it as PDFs. That might be something that's neat for you or for your users. Here I am doing other things or going to other websites. I can click back on 5250, look at my active sessions and resume the work that I was working on.
good stuff. It's been around for years and years and years and years, but very few people use it. I think it's pretty neat. And I just thought I'd record this little video to help someone out there. So if you want to figure out how to set your system up like that, I will include a link to the freebie course on my website somewhere down there. Click on it, follow the instructions, and let me know how you get on. I hope that helps someone out there. Alrighty, I'll see you on the flip side.